I always tell every team member, you have two jobs. You have the job you're hired for, maybe that's being a nurse, and you have the job of being a good team member. Those are your two jobs. You can't be a good nurse and suck at being a team member. You can't be a good nurse and be a terrible team member. And you can't be a great team member, someone that's really fun and fun to go out with to the bar after work, and be a terrible nurse. But what happens is we emphasize, people always emphasize, well, I'm a good nurse, it doesn't matter how I act to my team members. We've had, we have, we have, we've had caregivers, we have nurses, maybe you've experienced this too, who are great at their job. They're clinically, they're amazing. But they are terrible to work with. How many of you ever had experienced that? Okay. It doesn't work. Like we can't, you got it. We express to everybody, you have two jobs. First one is what you're hired for. Second one is to be a good team member. And put as much emphasis on being a good team member, as much training to being a good team member as you do being a good clinician. You may not have the resources for it. You may not have like all the training time you want. But it, as a leader, as you create like that sheet we worked out of where you want it to be, how do you want your team to act? You've got to have clear goals. 